What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this week we're going to have some fun with uh, Fredo Scale and also with True Bend as we bend a shape into a circle and then use symmetry in order to keep building on that shape. Today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure to check out that link and consider supporting the show in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I had done a video a while ago about using Fredo scale to create a bent arch in SketchUp. And so we're going to go through that real quick. I'll also link to that video down below. But then I want to build on top of that and use a true bend to bend that shape along an arc and see what we can do with it. I will link to both of these extensions in the notes down below so you can download them and install them on your computer. So to start off, we're just going to draw a rectangle, whatever size you want. It's going to be about the size uh, of whatever you want your arch to be. And then we're just going to offset our edges in. So I'm going to I'm going to offset everything by six inches. So every time I draw a line, I'm going to offset it by six inches, or I'm going to use the move tool to move it six inches so that everything's kind of the same size. So you can see how all I'm doing is I'm just drawing lines and splitting this up into different faces. And so that's going to be so we get kind of an interesting arch shape. So I'm just going to move this using the move tool in copy mode so that it's been moved over six inches. And I'm also going to take this line and move that six inches as well. And so what that gives us is that gives us a series of filled in faces. And then we're going to go in with the erase tool and erase out all these borders so that this is one continuous face. And that's going to be fairly important with what we're going to do here because we want this to be one continuous face. And then we want to get these other faces out of here. So you could either come in here and do a shift click and delete all of these out or you could do a double click to select your face that we're going to push, pull and bend and then hold the shift key and drag across it or click and drag across it in order to reverse the selection and then you can just press the delete key. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push pull this up about six inches and so what that's going to do is that's going to give us our shape that we're going to bend into an arch and so far this is exactly what we did in the other tutorial and we're going to go ahead and right click on this and make it a group. Well now we're going to use Fredo scale in order to bend it. And so I'm going to move this over just a bit. And then within Fredo scale, there's an option at the end for radial bending. And radial bending basically allows you to bend your object along a curve. And so we're going to set our origin point on this end right here and make sure this is green. You can tap the left arrow key to lock this to the green axis. We're going to click on this corner. We're then going to click on this corner. And then we're going to click one more to set our target point. And then I'm going to move my mouse and I'm going to type in 180 degrees. And so when I type in 180 degrees, what this does is this bends this 180 degrees in a circle. So now we have our arch shape, which is exactly what we did before. Well, now what I want to do is I want to bend this in an arc again. And the tool true bend is actually really good for this because this will bend this in a true 180 degrees so the faces line up. And I do want to note that right now this is a solid group. So everything in here is considered a solid. You could take this and 3D print it or do whatever you wanted to with that. But now we're going to use the extension true bend. And so you'll notice if I activate the extension true bend right here, my object is getting bent along the wrong curve. So you can see how as I click and drag, if I was to hit the inner key, my geometry is going to get all messed up because it's not bending it along, along the right axis. And so if you'll notice when you click on this, you can see how these green lines are running along here. True bend bends your object along the object's green axis. So if I was to double click in here, you can see that my green axis is running this way. But the problem is we want to bend it in the other direction. So in order to do that, we're going to reset our object axis. So you can either come into the large tool set or you can go to tools, axes in order to place that. And so what we want to do is we want to keep our axis in the same place, but we want to change it so that our object's green axis is running this way instead of this way. And so you just need to move your mouse around until that shows up on the right point. So you can see how if I click right here, then I have to click one more time. This will set this so that my green axis is running this way instead of this way. Well now true bend is set up to bend this 
along the correct axis. So you can see how if I activate it and then click and bend, I can either do this a full 360 degrees if I wanted to, or I could also do 180 degrees. If I hit the enter key um, and I do 360 degrees, your object's gonna look like this. And you, you'll notice that this stays a solid group, which is great, again, for things like 3D printing. Well, in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna click on this, click on this center point, and I actually want to set this to 180 degrees. And so I'm just going to click and drag on this a little bit, and then I'm just going to type in, actually, I'm just going to type in a value of 180 and hit the Enter key. You can see what this does is this bends this around the center 180 degrees. And what's great about this is you can see how if we go straight up and down, this is actually truly bent along a 180 degree angle, meaning these faces will line up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy. So tap that M key, click on your object, and then tap the control key to activate copy mode. And then I'm gonna flip this in place. I use the scale tool to do that using uniform scaling, so holding the control key down. You could also use the mirror option by right clicking and doing um, flip along right here. So then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna move this piece until it intersects with this other piece. And you'll see how again, because we use true bend, these edges all line up. But now I can take the scale tool and I can flip this if I want to, so it's upside down. You can adjust how tall or short this is using the scale tool as well. You can see I'm just holding the control key in order to keep my uniform scaling set. And so if I go ahead and flip this to negative one, and then I look at it, I could leave this as is, or I could take it again, make a copy of both of these, and then flip that and move them back together. And so you can really use this to make some interesting shapes, but it's also just kind of a fun study in modeling with symmetry. And you'll notice I only had to model this once, and then I'm able to use this to create all four different shapes that make this up. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Are you using methods like this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.